An exciting no bake cheesecake. Okay? It's fast, it's fun, it's easy, and it's yummy, yummy, yummy to your tummy, tummy, tummy. It's good for the whole family. And it's very simple. Uh, you get the uh, no bake jello, okay? And um, you pull the package into the um, bowl and you, you use one and a half cup of cold milk okay and you use one half stick of soft butter you let the butter sit out and let it get soft okay don't uh, try to make it while it's cold okay all right. Now, once again, if you want to make your own crust, you can. But I take the easy way out. I buy the crust already made, and um, I don't have to worry about buying graham crackers and all that kind of stuff. And so you're gonna beat it, beat it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Welcome back. Now, you want to make sure that your butter and your milk is cold, okay? You, you don't want, um, you want your milk uh, is, should be cold too, and your butter is cold, um, it's not cold, but it's soft. It's, you know, and we're going to, this is, this is already, um, to go. And you can get any kind of gel mix that you want. Okay, so we're going to put it in. Now we're going to put it in the fridge, okay? All right? Rolling. <laughs> Welcome to Grandma Dothan's Tea Time. It's tea time with Grandma Dothan. With great love and respect. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I really appreciate you tuning in to Tea Time. All right? And we're going to continue uh, what we left off at from uh, uh, the David's Psalms, uh, the, the 51st Psalms. And uh, we can learn a lot from the, uh, David because David did a lot of things, but he always confessed. And he always repented, and he, he didn't hide nothing. He didn't try to push it under the rug. He didn't have to. He didn't have to um, deny it. He, he he owned up to it. And but he asked for forgiveness because he knew that God loved him, that God died for him, that he was he was more valuable. And we are all of us. Anyone that has received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. At, for, because he died for us, we are very important. We're just as important as the painting Mona Lisa. Uh, you know, Mona Lisa's the, the painting Mona Lisa is priceless. Uh, they won't it, 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 they, it, it won't be sold because it's so valuable. That's how valuable we are. We are as valuable as anything that you can think of because Christ died for your sins and my sins. And if we receive that, if we believe that, and if we live it, speak it, talk it, act it, and, and know it, then we could be like David. David, in the uh, Psalms 51, after he had murdered a, a Bathsheba's husband, had him murdered, he, he, the, he confessed. 
he knew he was wrong. And, and we are the same way. We, if we confess our sins and believe, we have to believe, believe that Jesus died on the cross for us to pay the penalty for our sins. And so he, he died for me and you. That's how valuable we are. And we, listen, there's no one got fingerprints like you and no one got an ear, ear print like you. That's how valuable you are. Out of all the millions of people on earth, nobody has the same fingerprints as you. That's how special you are. And that's how mighty God is that he was able to do. Who could do that? Have millions and millions and millions of people and nobody has the same fingerprint. That's how awesome God is, but that's how awesome you are. And you have to know that, that you was, you valuable, that God loves you, that God died on the cross for you, for your sins, so that you could be uh, renewed to the Father, that you could have eternal life, that you could have life and have it more abundantly and know that you are worthy because who, who, who would die for you? Christ died for you, for your sins, okay? All right? We just have to receive it. So David in the 51st, 51 Psalms said, and I want you to get a Bible and read it for yourself, okay? But I'm going to read it for you today, okay? He says, God is generous in love. God gives grace, huge in mercy, wipes out my, wipe out my bad record. That's David talking now. Remember, this is David. Scrub away my guilt. Soak out my sins in your laundry. I know how bad I've been. My sins are staring me down. See, I'm reading from the uh, Message Bible. Okay? You are the one I've violated and you have you uh, and you have seen me it's all seen to, uh, you see to the to the fullest extent you see everything that I know and he see what we we do so all we have to do because he loves us and if we could just get that in our minds how much he loves us he loves us he loves us so much that we we'll know that we somebody we are somebody we, when we become born again, we become a beloved child of God. That, that word beloved carries a lot of validity to it. Beloved, not just a child of God. Beloved. God loves us so much that he died on the cross for, for our sins. So that we could have eternal life. That we could spend eternity with him. Okay? That's how, that's how important you are. Okay? It all seems... It all seemed the full extent of my evil. You have all the facts before you. See, because when you uh, when you do something, God, God sees. God sees everything that you do. He knows everything that you know. He knows it. So you you you, you have to know that He wants a relationship with you. He wants to a uh, relationship. He, don't, he didn't come to die for you for a religion. He came to die for, with you for a relationship. So he wants to talk to you every day, all the time. He wants that. He, because you matter to him. Okay? Um, whatever you decide about me is fair. Now that's what David is saying to God. You know? I've been out of step with you for a long time. Okay? In the wrong since before I was born, what you what you're after is truth from the in inward and from inward and out. So he wants us to be truthful to him. He wants us to be sincere to him. He wants us to love him as uh, he as 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 much as we can because he loves us so much and he values us. You are important to God. He said, "Enter me then." Conceive a new truth and a new way of life in me. Soak me in, in your laundry and I'll come out clean. Scratch me and I'll have a snow white life. Uh, time, uh, tune me in to the foot 
snapping songs set these once broken bones to dancing. Don't look too close for blemishes. Give me a clean bill of health. And that's what David's asking God. Okay? Give me a fresh start in, and make a fresh start in me. Shape a Genesis week from the chaos of my life. Don't throw me out with the trash or fail to breathe holiness in me. Bring me back from great ex exile. Put a fresh wind in my sail. Give me a job teaching rebels your way so that the lost can find their way home. You see, when God, when we become born again, God wants to tell it. Tell it to people. Let people know what God has done for you. Okay? Alright? Commune my death sentences, God my salvation. And I'll sing anthems to you, life-giving to your life-giving ways. Unbutton my lips, dear God. Let I'll let loose with your praise. Going through the motion don't please you. A flawless performance is nothing to you. I lean, I learned God's worship when my pride was scattered. Heart scattered, lives ready to ready for love. Don't for a minute escape God's notion. So that God wants us to love Him. God wants us to want Him. God wants us to uh, be sincere and, and, and know that He loves us. That He died for us. And what He did for us on Calvary is, uh, is it was for Him to, for, for you to spend eternity with Him. And you can. And you, you will. If you just believe, but most of us don't believe. We look at our, our flaws. But give, look at his perfectness and know that what he has done, the blood he shed for you and me, it, 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 it wipes out all. He don't see all the flaws in us because we confess and we repent it and we love him and we have a relationship with him. Make Zion the place you delight in. Repair Jerusalem's broken down walls. Then you'll get real worship from us. Acts of worship small and large, including all the bulls they can heave unto your altar. So, God wants to get your attention. God wants you to know that you valuable. That he ain't mad at you. That he 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 mad. He 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 loves you. He mad about you. He ain't mad with you about uh, uh, because of you. He mad because he is in love with you, and he wants you to know that. And he wants you to have that relationship with him every single day. Okay, all right. Not what you did, but what he did. Look at what he did. What he died on the cross for you. That's how valuable you are, and he wants you to know that. He wants you to know that. He loves you and that He wants you to spend eternity with Him. Amen. Father, we thank You and we praise You for dying on the cross for us. We thank You, Lord. We thank You. We thank You. We thank You for Your shed blood. We thank You, Lord, that in You we live and move and have our being. We thank You, Lord, for opening up our knowledge to know that You love us. You love us more than we can even imagine. But we thank You, Lord. We praise You right now. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen.